Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing some tablets and doing some speed drawing on those to test them out. We're going to be reviewing the XP Pen 22E Pro. This, I've never used an XP Pen before, and this is their top of the line model. I believe it's $500, and you can use my code in the description to get 6% off of this. Makes a great Christmas present. I have never used XP Pen before, and I don't know how it's, how it's gonna work. And then they also sent me this 11.6 inch or 12 inch Christmas edition uh, pen display tablet, which comes with a protective carrying case. So both of these are unopened. This one is normally around $270, and right now it's on sale uh, Cyber Monday. It will be $200, so that's a pretty big discount, $70 off. Again, makes a great gift, especially for somebody who wants to get into art and animation. I have never used a tablet this small before. 11.6 inches is, is really pushing it. The smallest I ever used was a 15 inch, and I was struggling pretty bad on that. I've been using this one right here, for three years or so, and I'm starting to get kind of tired of it, especially because the driver errors are just driving me crazy. It's constantly crashing. Every time it crashes, I have to reboot my computer. It's seriously interrupting my workflow, and I am looking for an alternative. So hopefully this 22E is the alternative I've been looking for. We'll do some speed draws, and we'll review these, and let's see how it goes. Okay, let me first start off and say, just giving this a review out of 10 points, this thing is a 10. It is the best tablet I have ever, ever used, and it will be replacing my old Yenova tablet. I'm so excited. I can't believe that they are selling this tablet so cheap, and it is so freaking good. First of all, right now it's on sale for Cyber Monday, today only, for $400, okay? The next cheapest alternative, a Hueon is $900, a Yenova of this size is around $600. This thing right now is 400 bucks. A Cintiq at this size is $1,700. And let me repeat, this one right now is only 400. And I'm not getting paid to say this. They just gave me this tablet for free just for an honest review, and I am being completely honest with you. Now, I had one little mistake when I first started using this. I didn't realize that there is actually an extra layer of coating film that they put on this, and it was giving me some issues. It was kind of messing up the image on on my tablet, just making my tablet look a little bit washed out, and also made the drawing surface feel a little bit squishy. But after taking that thing off, the surface is just this smooth, beautiful glass. The pen feels so good, and I'm in completely, completely in shock and impressed. Now, usually these tablets have some kind of flaw. There's always one little issue with these things. It's a driver issue, the stand has is an issue, the pen is bad, something is usually wrong. XP Pen got it right. Everything is right about this tablet. Even the software, the graphic interface you use is the easiest one I've ever used. Okay, let's talk about the pen itself because the pen is actually very, very important when you're using one and buying one of these tablets. If it's something that you're gonna be using and have in your hand for a long period of time, like eight hours a day, you want it to be comfortable and I gotta hand it to XP Pen's pen, especially for this model. It was super comfortable, it was just the right weight. I actually loved it. Their pen is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Definitely a huge bonus and way better than Huion's pen. In terms of ease of use and ease of installation, it was super easy. Literally just plugged it in, downloaded the drivers from their website, and it started working immediately. The interface that they have for accessing all the controls on the on the tablet and the calibration, everything, super easy to use, super simple. The express keys were a nice touch. I definitely like them. They have a nice click to them. They were easy to bind. They even had some really good defaults for those express keys, which saved me a lot of time from having to program a lot of them, so they did a really good job there as well. But there is no mouse scrolling option uh, in terms of an express key. Some of these tablets do have a little pad that you can rub your finger on to scroll up and down, and or you can bind it to something else if you want. 
The stand on it is pretty standard, no pun intended. It's a simple mechanism. You just pretty much pull a lever and then you can adjust the slant of the monitor. This is supposedly an IPS panel, meaning that it gets excellent viewing angles no matter what your slant is or what direction you're drawing in. Now the stand does not really allow it to lay completely flat, but I'm pretty sure that you can take the stand off if you like to draw on a flat surface. It does not go down super, super low, but it still goes down pretty low enough as you can see here I'm actually drawing on a pretty low slant about 30 degrees or something like that which seemed to actually work very very well for me the glove that they provided was actually really nice it was a great fit it was sleek so I what I want to do is I actually want to compare this to Huion's 22 inch model which is almost identical to this product but it is $500 more expensive and the pen is not nearly as nice the only thing the Huion has that this doesn't have is a couple extra express keys and the mouse scrolling express key which honestly I never even really used anyway this thing is a steal 400 bucks right now and it's the best tablet I have ever used and I own like 10 tablets just a couple other tidbits of information about this tablet it might interest you. It has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is pretty much the standard right now. Now, it says that it can support 4K displays, and it says that it can pretty much support any software under the umbrella of drawing and animation softwares. They also offer lifetime technical support on all their pen display tablets. One more cool thing to note is it does come packaged really nice and the pen, as I've said, is amazing and it has a nice pen holder with extra nibs. It definitely feels professional and I would say that this is a tablet that works for beginners as well as industry professionals. And what I mean by that is I think even if you're an industry professional, your main job or you work at some animation company or studio or something like that, I think this is still an excellent choice for professionals as well as amateurs. Most amateurs get started on the Intuos types of tablets that don't have a screen. That's what I started on, but I absolutely hated it. Once I got a graphic pen display tablet, things started changing for me big time. And I wish that I knew about this tablet back then because I'm just completely in shock and in awe that they got everything right on this tablet. I honestly don't have a single complaint. And if I did, this is an honest review. I'm not, again, I'm not getting paid. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just an honest review. And I've tried a variety of different tablets. This is the only one that doesn't have any flaws. I haven't seen any flaws yet. Some people complained that they were having driver issues. I did not. So instead of spending around a hundred bucks on an Intuos tablet, which doesn't have a monitor and is limiting, spend a few hundred extra bucks and get the best tablet on the market. So usually this tablet is $500. Right now on Cyber Monday, it's 400 bucks. And then you can use my code, which is in the description, to get an additional 6% off. So you can get this thing super cheap right now. If you're in the market for tablets, I would recommend this over anything. Now, I don't know about the longevity. I don't know if there's driver issues. I've read people online saying that they've had driver issues. I did not have any, but apparently if you've used other drawing software before, you have to make sure that all of that stuff is uninstalled or else you may encounter some issues, but I did not. The real question for this, and I can't tell you this right now, is how does it hold up to the test of time? I rate this tablet 10 out of 10. There is nothing that stands out to me that I would request that they change. There was no bugs, it was perfection. Okay, now let's talk about their 11.6 inch Christmas edition pen display tablet. I have never used a tablet this small and oh my God, is this thing tiny. It feels like you're drawing on a third of a piece of paper. It was very, very difficult for me. Right here, I'm just doing some weird perspective shot, just some sketches to try and get used to this and try and get acclimated to it. The smallest I ever used was a 15.6 inch and I struggled with that and I really, really struggled with this one but that's not to say it's a bad tablet surface area isn't everything it does help inside your programs because it's basically giving you more space to draw but it doesn't really ruin the quality of your image or anything like that. It's just really, really tiny. Now you can actually use this thing kind of like an Intuos tablet, a non-monitor tablet, and it's so light and it's so thin, you can just put it in front of you, in front of your computer. It lays flat and it does not come with a stand, so you'd have to buy a stand separately, which they have on their Amazon site. I definitely suggest getting an accessory stand. 
But this thing is about the weight of an iPad. It's so light and you could use it for traveling. It can fit in your backpack or probably even your laptop bag. This Christmas edition comes packed super nice. It's got all the accessories you need except for a stand. It's got a glove, it's got the pens, it's got all different kinds of chargers for different countries that you may be in. It definitely is packaged as a really nice Christmas gift. You should get a stand extra. I'm just struggling with my hand taking up half the screen as I'm trying to draw. It does come with a drawing glove and this one is actually red um, and it's actually really pretty and nice and I honestly don't know if you can buy a red drawing glove anywhere else. I didn't try it on but I assume it's just like the other one. Just a little tidbit of extra information in case you're wondering if you get a glove. Now one of the best things about this tablet is it doesn't require a power adapter. So you don't have anything you have to plug in the wall, no clunky power brick. It literally is just powered by USB. So the HDMI cable which plugs into the tablet that plugs into your laptop has two USBs attached to it. Now they have told me that you only need the black USB to power it, but sometimes I, what they told me is some computers can have unstable power so there's an extra USB, I guess the red USB, if you ever needed an additional source of power if your tablet is flickering or something like that plug in both the USB so you may have to have up to two USB ports open but they do include extension cords to make that easy for you the pen that it comes with is kind of shaped like a pencil and at first I was a little hesitant about it I do not think it needs charging at all which is kind of neat doesn't need batteries either I think the tablet just responds to the pen which is pretty cool don't have to worry about charging anymore and even though I was a little hesitant about the pencil type, very tiny pen that it comes with. After sketching with it, it felt great. It actually fit in the grooves of between my fingertips very easily, and it was actually pretty nice to draw with. It had a good weight to it, and it definitely beat my expectations after seeing it, but I did like the 22 inch pen way better. If you're curious about using a pen display tablet and you want to spend under $200, you're not going to find one anywhere else for under $200. But again, it is really tiny. That could be a good thing for you if you need it for travel. But if not, I suggest spending a couple hundred extra bucks and getting the 22E Pro from XP Pen. It is such a good tablet. Personally, this one is just way too small for me. I'm Mastar. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and review. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a like down below and I will be seeing you soon with some more videos. Peace.